At the start of the year, Kaduchi Wesebunya Uganda native was appointed as the new chief executive officer of the African Wildlife Foundation, the largest African conservation organization. The African Wildlife Foundation, whose headquarters are found in Nairobi, Kenya, has a specific mission, which is to ensure that wildlife and wildlands thrive in modern Africa. And since 1961, the foundation has been focused on addressing Africa's conservation needs. Kadu Sebunya is the only Ugandan to rise to the position of CEO of the African Wildlife Foundation, although he did once serve as the president of AWF. He spoke to NTV about his recent appointment and what he intends to do while in office. So we would like to see to develop programs that are inclusive and give role and attract young people to this sector. And when I say attracting young people to this sector, I'm not talking about turning young people into conservation. We want bankers to be part of this sector. We want lawyers to be part of this sector. We want MBA folks to be part of this sector. Sebunya has a wealth of experience in conservation, having worked for organizations like Conservation International, USAID, the United States Peace Corps, and the World Conservation Union, says that Ugandans and Africans as a whole are the ones who should champion wildlife conservation and not anyone else. Speaking out on the issue of illegal wildlife trade and trafficking that has become a big problem globally, the AWF CEO says that they are now working on several interventions to counter it. This trade does not benefit Africans in general at all. It's international trade. There are no markets for ivory in Uganda or anywhere else. There are no Ugandans who buy rhino horn. There are no Ugandans, very few, who benefit from the trade of rhino horn. All Africans, in general, in a number of technology is very, very important uh, in, in this aspect. And so uh, in all the aspects I talked about, demand, trafficking, and uh, stopping the killing, use, use of drones in monitoring, that's all technology. Uh, the rangers we work with, with the Uganda Life Authority, in Ikidepo and all these other parks, they use now smartphones to track down patrols, take pictures to collect evidence. So technology is a very, very big part. Sebunya also speaks out on the aspect of human-wildlife conflict that has been on the rise, revealing that it is the human beings who often encroach or tend to provoke the wildlife. We've lived with these animals, or birds, or snakes, or whatever it is, or forests, all our lives. But the challenge has been the, f the choices we've made in what we think development is, or what we aspire to have, or what we grow, or what we produce for our economic aspirations. If you grow sugarcane plantation near elephants, you're going to have human life conflict. You know? If you, if, you know, if, if, if you keep goats near lions, you're going to have human life conflict. I think the idea, the question is, what kind of economies should we develop? Sebunya also says that communities should directly benefit from the income that is brought in by the wildlife and that private landowners should also be encouraged to have wildlife on their land for them to benefit directly from it. He further states that if Africans do not take action right now, they are bound to lose everything that makes them unique and gives them identity. We cannot leave that work to non-Africans. They are here to help. They've played a bigger role, but the responsibility is ours. Number two is continue the work we've done since 1961, our founding to conserve wildlife in situ, in national parks and private land. We would like to help private land owners with wildlife on their land to also benefit from wildlife as a resource on their land. The African Wildlife Foundation is now working with several African countries on a number of projects, including sourcing funds for prosecutors who handle wildlife crime. 
For now, AWF is aiming at motivating more people, especially the youth and women, in the conservation drive. Suhail Mugavi, NTV, Weekend Edition.